So you don't want a distortion particle, you want a real physical 3D black hole. Not a problem. Real quick, I learned how to do this from Coreb Games, so check him out if you want to see a more complex version of this. I have created a more simplified version since I didn't really need all the bells and whistles. So the way I do it is I right click, create a new material, name it, open it, set blend mode to translucent, and shading to unlit. Create a Fresnel node, hold M and left click to make a multiply node, duplicate them, and then get a one minus node, a power node, a time node, a time with speed node, an add node, and a sign node, and drag everything together like so. Then set the Fresnel to 1.5, 0 0.05, power to 10, A to 5, then set B to 1, Fresnel to 1 and 2, compile, save, add a basic sphere to your game, and set the material to the one you just created. And you're done. So here's how all this works. Up here controls the black hole's general size. Here controls the black hole's general sharpness. This controls the speed of the pulses, and this controls the size of the distortion waves. And this controls the number of waves. If you want, you can set each of these to a permanent node. And then when you make an instance of a material, you will easily be able to change these settings and customize it to different pulsing patterns if you want. But here is what the parameter version looks like for those of you who want it. At any point, if you get confused and you want to see what one note in particular is doing, just right click it and say preview and you will see exactly what's going on under the hood. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.